After nine months of work, a manpower audit into the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is complete. The audit report was submitted to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley on Tuesday by Chairman of the Committee, Professor Ramesh Diosaran. As Janine Brown reports in the handing over of the 600-plus page document on Tuesday, Professor Diosaran had one respectful request for the Prime Minister. As Professor Ramesh Diosaran submitted the manpower audit to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, with what he described as some powerful recommendations, he expressed his concern that the report does not end up laying idly by like others in the past. Several reports, six or several of them, Mastrowski report, and the recommendations have been left idly lying on different shelves. Give me your interest and the enthusiasm with which you have appointed us. We have the confidence in you and your government that this report, this manpower audit report, will certainly not suffer a similar fate. His request was met with agreement from Prime Minister Rowley, who recalled that a request for a manpower audit into the police service was actually made by his party while in opposition. On entering office, Dr. Rowley said the report was high on his agenda as he echoed the view that change must come and to come soon. And I want to give you the assurance that this report even before I see the first page, I'm committing the government to use this report as the blueprint for the road ahead. It would be inconceivable that we can now receive this report after nine months of hard work and allow it to be on any shelf. The document will be taken to cabinet as soon as Thursday, after which it will go to the parliament for debate. Dr. Rowley reminded that translating the recommendations into action depends not only on government, but the opposition will also have a say in the outcome. The point I'm making is whatever recommendations are in here, whatever they might be, would be a matter for the parliament to determine what happens to and with the police service in bringing about an improvement in the security and safety of the population of Trinidad and Tobago. We have the majority in the parliament, but that majority may not be sufficient to bring about the, some of the recommendations which you might have in here. The audit report will also go before a joint select committee of parliament to be chaired by Minister Fitzgerald Hines. Janine Brown, C News.